In this video, I'll show you how to create a cart and checkout page in WordPress in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our WordPress site and I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and add your cart page, which is this one here, and also how to actually add your checkout page as well. Not only will I show you how to add the cart page, I'll show you how you can actually upgrade a cart page. So, so by default, as you just saw, when a customer adds their product to cart, they'll have to um, view the cart page and then go ahead and view the checkout page. Okay. So it adds a lot more friction in the checkout process. Okay. So what I'm going to show you how to also do is when a customer adds a product to cart that this side cart here will automatically open. And then from here, the customer can reduce the quantity, increase the quantity and go ahead and check out. We can also add various different upsells based on what the customers purchased as well. And this is powered by the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin there's a free and a pro version okay so just head over to wesuite.com go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin i'll leave the link in the description below and with that said let's head over to our dashboard okay so here we are in our wordpress dashboard assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin you just go ahead and upload that plugin so we go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this wesuite menu here then we can navigate to the all-in-one at checkout plugin. Okay, but before we get to, into any of that, we just want to make sure that we've got our cart page set up and we've got our and our checkout page set up as well. So throughout this video, I'm assuming you've just installed WooCommerce. So maybe the cart and checkout pages wasn't created automatically like it usually does. Okay, so sometimes that happens. So just to check, we'll just quickly navigate over to pages. Okay, and here you can see we've got our cart page and we've also got our checkout page as well. So let's say we wanted to assign our cart page or our checkout page to a different um, WordPress page, for example. So to do that, we'll just navigate to WooCommerce settings. So I'm opening this in a new tab and then we'll navigate to advanced here. Okay, and then here where it says page setup. Here you can see our cart page and we can actually assign it to something else okay for example i could assign our cart page to this home page for example okay that doesn't actually make sense so i'm just going to set it back to the cart page okay and you just go ahead and do the same for the checkout page as well so let's head back over to pages and then we'll go ahead and configure our cart and checkout page okay so let's navigate back over here and then when we click edit on this cart page here we can see the default WooCommerce shortcode for the cart page. Okay, so it's just brackets WooCommerce underscore cart um, close brackets. Okay, and you can essentially add the shortcode to any page or anywhere on your website, and it will display um, all the items within your cart. Okay, within your shopping cart. Okay, so if we wanted as well to probably design this page, um, depending on what page builder you're using or if you're just using Gutenberg. So for example, we could, um, okay, let's go ahead and add some extra elements here. So we'll just click browse. I'm going to select pattern just because I want a quick design. Um, I'm going to select header. Okay, I'm going to choose this one here. Okay, um, so essentially what we can do now is let's click um, paragraph. Okay, and then let's copy the short code and then I'm going to paste it here. So now we'll just update this and then our cart page will have this background, right? So let's view page. Okay, and here you can see our cart page. <laughs> okay, so it's not the best design in the world, but hopefully you kind of get the idea of how to actually add your cart page and your checkout page so it's the same process as well with your checkout page you'll just have a short code which is um, brackets WooCommerce underscore checkout close brackets let's just quickly have a look at um, your checkout page okay so let's navigate back over to pages and then we'll go ahead and select um, checkout okay this one so we'll edit this one so since I've got the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin installed, here we're actually displaying our checkout um, using the WeSuite Gutenberg block, okay? But in your case, you'll most likely just need to add. So we can select short code here, and then we can say bracket um, underscore checkout, um, close brackets, okay? And then this will allow you to display your checkout page. Okay, so now we'll just have a quick look at our checkout page and then I'll show you how we can actually go ahead and optimize our cart page and our checkout page as well. So let's just quickly view page. 
as default your WooCommerce checkout page won't look anything like this okay so this is actually powered by the all-in-one um, checkout plugin and I'll show you how you can go ahead and customize this as well. So before I do that, let's actually disable um, this checkout page design so we can get an idea of how the default WooCommerce checkout page looks, okay? So I'm gonna navigate back over to our dashboard. Okay, so I've created a checkout form here using the all-in-one checkout plugin. So I'm gonna disable this. Okay, then we'll just save changes. Okay, and then now when we view our checkout page, Okay, so now when we view our checkout page, this is how the default WooCommerce checkout page usually looks, okay, minus this upsell, which is powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how we can actually optimize the process, as I said. So the, so the first thing we're going to do is actually add our sidecart um, widget, okay? So we'll just head over to um, all-in-one checkout here, AIO checkout, and then here we'll just select um, mini cart. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually enable our mini cart, okay? And then here we get to specify where we want to display our mini cart. So we can show it at the bottom left or the bottom right. Here I've just selected the left. And we can enable our order bumps. So if you want to add upsells within the um, side cart, um, you can enable this order bump um, option here. So in the description, I'll leave a link um, showing you how to create a um, upsell within WooCommerce. So we're going to enable this order bump here. We're going to enable our coupon field within the site cart. So, so essentially the customer can do everything in the site cart that would, that they would be able to do on the cart page. Okay. For the order bump location, I'm going to display this at the bottom and I'm going to leave this unchecked. Um, in terms of enabling free shipping progress bar, so I'm going to enable this option. Okay. And then we're going to set the free shipping threshold to a hundred dollars. Okay. So whatever your store currency is. So that's what this amount will equate to, okay? Okay, so we can customize the free shipping um, message as well. I'm just gonna leave it as default because I think it's fine as it is. And I'm gonna enable this option where it says automatically open and when we add an item to cart, okay? And then finally, we can override um, the cart icon in our header menu. So when a customer clicks on it, instead of taking them to the cart page, it will open up the site cart, okay? But I'm going to leave this disabled for now. So let's save changes. Okay. And then now when we go ahead and add a product to cart, for example, if I was to add this particular product to cart, let's add, yeah, let's add this one to cart. Then here you can see opens um, our site cart. Since it's a hundred dollars, the free shipping, we've got this message congratulating us on, on unlocking free shipping. Okay. We've got our upsell, we've got our coupon field and we can go ahead and check out or we can just continue shopping. Okay. So it's a much more streamlined customer experience. And then finally, we'll go ahead and actually configure our checkout page. To do this, we'll head back over to our dashboard. And then this time, and where it says recent checkout fields here, we're gonna actually create a new checkout form, okay? So you'd click create new checkout. Since I've already created one, I'm gonna click um, edit this one here. Okay, and then just a quick overview. So again, I'll leave um, a link in the description below to a more in-depth tutorial on how to actually configure your checkout. And so we can add more fields to our checkout page, okay? So for example, we can add um, a checkbox then we can customize the checkbox message. So we can add some message here. Okay, we can choose whether it's required or not. For appearance, we can show, we can decide whether it will display full width or half or even maybe a third, okay? And we can also rearrange it. We can do the same, so I'm just gonna delete this. We can do the same for the other fields as well. So we can drag and drop this. Let's say you didn't need the email field, then we can click this eye icon here to basically hide it on the front end. So I'm gonna re-enable that there. I'm gonna delete this date field. So you've got the freedom to customize what's being shown on your checkout page. So let's say we didn't wanna show a shipping section, then we can just hide this complete section here. If we wanted to add um, multiple steps to our checkout page, we'll just click this plus icon here. And then here we can add um, new sections, new fields, we can drag and drop new fields onto this particular step. Let's say we wanted to add an entire section to a different step. So let's say we wanted to move this billing field onto step two. We just drag and drop it onto step two and then here it is, okay? Then we can move it back if we want to step one and it should be here on step one. If we wanna rename the step section, so we click on this settings icon here 
and then here we can change the label so first we can say um, billing okay and then for the second step we can say shipping payment and so on okay so let's navigate over to design so you can choose from our pre-made design so you can choose from the two column layout or a single column layout um, or you can choose just to use your default theme styling okay so in that case you just select none here there will be more um, templates being created as well as time go on so you'll see a lot more um, templates so now we'll navigate to settings and then we just want to enable this checkout field so this will basically override the default um, WooCommerce checkout layout and the fields as well so we just enable this option and then here for the name so it's just for internal purposes so if you've got multiple different checkout forms for so for example so a lot of our customers they sell to b2b customers and um, retail customers as well so in that case maybe one maybe they want to show their b2b customers a different checkout form right that has a lot more um, information on there such as their tax id other questionnaire and so on okay and then maybe for retail customers they just want to make it as streamlined and as simple as possible so in that case they basically just create two different checkout forms and then here where it says applies to we get to choose who we want to show this checkout form to so we can show it to guest users which are users logged out of our site to users with a specific um, user role right and then we'll just select the user role here or to a specific um, user as well okay so i'm just going to set this to everyone and then finally we get to um, rename the checkout button okay so we can set this to whatever we want so in my case i've just selected pay now as the final call to action okay so we can just save changes and then when we refresh our checkout page we can see our new checkout design with our steps okay so here we've got our billing step our step two which we can rename as well and this is just a quick way to upgrade your checkout experience as i said you can offer um, additional um, upsell on the checkout page and also on the cart page as well but we'll leave the link in the description below to show you how to configure that and that's just a quick and easy way to add a cart and checkout page in WordPress in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.